President Putin gave his press conference first, announcing that ambassadors would return to their posts, and the atmosphere had been good. My first impression is that there was no hostility. The opposite is actually true. It was very constructive, and we found a lot of common ground. The President of the United States. President Biden agreed, his main aim being to calm things down. Well, we disagreed, I disagreed, stated where it was. Where he disagreed, he stated. But it was not done in a hyperbolic atmosphere. That is too much of what's been going on. But Putin was clear that American organizations promoting democracy are not welcome in Russia. Now let's ask ourselves a question. If Russia is declared a U.S. enemy, which organizations will the U.S. support in Russia? I think it will not be the ones that strengthen the Russian Federation, but those that hinder it. And that's the goal announced by the United States. I also told him that no president of the United States could keep faith with the American people if they did not speak out to defend our democratic values. Vladimir Putin headed to the summit this morning, knowing that his power derives from disrupting the international order, annexing part of a neighboring state, poisoning his enemies, cyber warfare. The meeting was held at the Villa Lagrange, where in 1864, the Geneva Convention to protect civilians in warfare was signed. Today's summit had less lofty goals. President Biden wants US-Russia relations to be predictable again. President Putin, who revels in unpredictability, wants to keep the US on the back foot. Anti-Putin protesters gathered from yesterday but were kept far away. Their aim is to show support for Alexei Navalny, the opposition leader Putin had poisoned and then imprisoned. It's always better to meet face to face. It's better to meet face to face, said President Biden before they went into the first of two meetings. But there's no love lost between the leaders. Such a contrast with this love fest. I have uh, President Putin. Uh, he just said it's not Russia. I will say this, I don't see any reason why it would be. President Trump's uh, summit with Putin in 2018 in Helsinki when he accepted the Russian president's word that, that he had not interfered in the 2016 the US election, over that of his security team. We found the, uh, the visit to be most helpful and most productive. We Joe Biden visited Moscow in 1979 as part of a Senate delegation pursuing nuclear detente with the Soviet Union. But long experience only goes so far. Officials will continue to work on major issues. It's difficult. Unlike nuclear weapons, today's cyber weapons are deniable. But the hope is that history will not repeat itself. This is not a kumbaya moment, as he used to say back in the 60s in the United States, like, let's hug and love each other. But it's clearly not in anybody's interest, your countries or mine, for us to be in a situation where we're in a new Cold War.